Hi, I'm Sarah Hammerker with Crosswalk.com, and I'm going to talk about what do we do when God doesn't answer our prayers. It can hurt when we think God hasn't answered our prayers, but the truth to be told, God always answers our prayers, but often not in the way we expect Him to. In this video, I'm going to give you eight things to do when God doesn't answer our prayers in the way we'd hope for. Number one, determined to keep trusting in God. He loves us. He calls us his dear children. He wants what's best for us, and he knows what's best for us. So we need to keep trusting in him, even when the answer doesn't come that we expected. Psalm 61.2 is a good verse to tuck in your heart for, these, for this way that you face this. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Number two, keep praying. This may seem, seem counterintuitive, but we need to keep pouring our heart out to God. And he hears and listens and loves us when we commune with him and we talk to him like that. Jeremiah 29, 13 says, You will seek me and you find me when you seek me with all your heart. So continue to seek God with all your heart. That leads us to number three, pour your heart out to God. He can handle our anger. He can handle our honesty. He can handle our grief and our rawness. All my heart includes the parts that are broken too. Bring it all to God. Number four, surround yourself with fellow believers. It's hard when we feel like God has not answered our prayers, but the more we can talk about it and just be in fellowship with other believers, the more we can just, rem they'll remind us of God's goodness in their life. They'll remind us of God's goodness in our life because sometimes we can get so fix fixated on the thing that we don't have or the answer we didn't want that we can forget all the ways God has answered our prayer up until that time, all the, way God has, all the ways God has blessed us. Number five, praise God for what you can. Sometimes we're in a really deep hole of grief or a, a, just a place where it's really hard to think of ways to praise God. You can praise him for the sunrise. You can praise him for the roof over your head. You can praise him for your family. We can really think about how to praise God when we put our mind to it. So praise him for what you can. You may not be able to praise him for the answer you weren't expecting, but you can praise him for many other things. Number six, read scripture. Scripture verses like 1 Peter 5, 7, cast your anxiety on him for he cares for you. And um, Ephesians 5, 29, after all, no one ever hated his own body, but he feels care, feeds and cares for it just as Christ does the church. Nahum 1, 7, the Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust him. Psalm 55, 22, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Matthew 6, 25 through 26, therefore I tell you, don't worry about your own life, what you will eat, what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is life more important than food and the body more important than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they are? In Jeremiah 29, 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And there's many other scriptures I could quote that would tell you and, and, and tell you how God cares for us and that, you know, immerse yourself in those scriptures. Number seven, Evaluate your desires. Maybe you were not you were asking for something that didn't line up in the Bible. Maybe you were asking for something that God had already said no to, and you didn't want to hear that. Evaluate what you're asking, and just see if it lines up with Scripture. And number eight, and this I think is the most important one: rest in Christ. The um, Westminster Confession says. The, what, is the, what is the chief end of man? And it's to glorify God and enjoy him forever. Rest in Christ. He loves you. We are to enjoy him. He made us to enjoy him and to rest in him. So I implore you, when God doesn't answer our prayer, ultimately we just need to rest in Christ.